cholesterol and heart disease, and we'll say it's atherosclerosis where we get the hardening of the arteries. Yes. So, I mean, let's think of it this way. Like people like to say it's, well, arachidonic acid is the bad guy. No, cholesterol is the bad guy. And it's like, well, that's not how it works. And the reason is that um, not everybody who has high levels of cholesterol has a heart attack, right? It's only like 50% of the people. Yeah. Well, the other 50% of people don't have high cholesterol. So like, how is that possible? Yeah. Well, it's because there's so many layers to this. So there's LDL, which is the more oxidized based cholesterol. It's actually just a low density. And which it means is that it actually falls to the surface of the artery, the endothelial tissue, like you were just saying. So when there's inf inflammation, it needs to be patched. And that's really it. If not, the literally the artery itself, the wall will collapse or explode. So it uses that, but it also uses calcium. And here's the interesting part. So calcium, calcified tissues, right? becomes hard. Yeah. So now, because cholesterol is not necessarily hard, it's just like glue, it's like toothpaste. And so that by itself, that's fairly flexible, though as it builds up, you can't push the blood through as well. And when eventually it's completely occluded, okay, well that artery no longer functions. And so now we've occluded artery. And now we're talking about like double, triple, quadruple bypass. Right, so that you're trying to open up all these arteries. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.